uh, welcome to this uh, webinar uh, on uh, e-commerce and uh, we are honored to, today to have um, two, two of our guests Vivian from uh, IMDA who will talk about she, she will talk about um, a good digital program and also we have uh, Terry Terry uh, is from Dodoka uh, he's the, the one that's going to teach you how to to get onto this e-commerce platform so um, some house rules uh, okay, before I start the house rules, to, I see a lot of familiar faces from our last uh, webinar session. Uh, to all my Malay friends, I see there, Salamat Raya. Okay, and uh, some house rules is that um, we we'll mute everybody uh, and, and only for the panelists or the speakers, uh, then, then you can see them. Uh, and then if you have any questions, you have the Q&A session at uh, you, the button there at the bottom, you can just type in your questions. Uh, at the end of the two presentation, I will moderate the questions. So those questions that are, are general, I'll, I'll release up to the, to the speakers. Uh, else, uh, we, we will um, uh, answer quite, try, try to answer some of those one-to-one uh, -one questions uh, separately, individually, privately. Okay, so uh, please stay tuned. Uh, SMF, we also have a lot of other webinars, but for our team, we focus on internationalization. So we help companies, SMEs, especially now in, in, in uh, this series of webinars. Next month, we have every week, we have one webinar on, on Fridays to help you all to go international on different topics. Like if you are interested in a uh, halal, uh, international halal, you want to go to Indonesia. Yes, uh, we have a speaker on that. Uh, and then if you do oversee uh, GST reverse charge and all that, also we have a speaker on that. So stay tuned for all our our uh, EDMs that will be coming out soon. Okay. So without much delay, um, I'll pass the the floor. Let's all zoom in to Vivian from IMDA. Vivian, please. Thank you. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Vivian from IMDA. I'm here to talk about our initiative from IMDA, which is the Grow Digital Program. Um, let me share my slides. I think uh, my, my sharing has been disabled. Michelle or Laurel? Okay. Yeah, Michelle can help us with that. Everybody see my slides? Yes. Okay, so, okay, so, so um, we have a Grow Digital program, which is uh, supported by IMD, which is created by MDA and Enterprise Singapore. So what is uh, Grow Digital? So we do, we, we have three initiatives, but um, I think some of your, some of the businesses here have heard of our Go, SME Go Digital program, which is to help um, local SMEs digitalize their business and to increase their revenue in the local market, in the, in the local, um, in the local scene. So they can digitalize um, based on our many uh, pre-approved vendor solutions and, and gain um, their market share or revenue through this digitalization efforts through the Go Digital program. So our Grow Digital program is a bit different. We are one step ahead. So for the companies and the businesses who are already, who are prepared to go overseas, we are here to help. So you can grow your business overseas and to gain market share revenue overseas. So this is part of our IMDA's resilience efforts to, to help local businesses increase their um, uh, develop their markets overseas, so you are not, uh, you are less reliant on just one market, which is the local market. So this is the uh, one of our part of our resilience plans. Okay. So um, for SMEs, we are although the the definition of SMEs, local SMEs, is um, companies with revenue from one million to hundred million. Although that's the that's the correct. Uh, definition but we also we are this this scheme is also open to company micro SMEs with less than 1 million in revenue per year so we can say that we we want to include we want to help all local SMEs so um so it's no matter what your turnover is we are we we, we are very uh, of course if, if you are more than 100 million in turnover uh, I, I you wouldn't need that much of help from the government yeah but uh, we also we are also open to that so uh, any companies who are open to um, going prepared to go overseas IMDA is uh, here to help and this is uh, the, the, the the our greatest our our greatest motivation is to help companies develop their their market share overseas and to gain a foothold in the overseas market 
So uh, as, you, as you see here, there are actually other Go Digital there are two schemes, uh, MEP and uh, the other called, uh, marketplace scheme. So um, today, Dodoka will be featuring on the number two, which is the marketplace scheme, whereby the SME on board the uh, marketplace, which is uh, over at Dodoka, will be the Singapore Pavilion uh, marketplace. And you go on, you go on board this uh, Singapore Pavilion. It, they will to, together with uh, together with all other local SMEs and this marketplace. They will feature they will feature your products and services over in China market. So it, um, this entire this entire um, scheme number two here. It is what what we are here to uh, promote, which is a. Uh, SMEs go on board the marketplace and together a collective efforts with all SMEs and the marketplace itself develop the um, uh, open up the your your market your to uh, to the overseas to the overseas consumers. So um, we, we in our in our grow digital scheme we do have a, we we have a, the criteria for onboarding um, vendors vendors like Dodoka and all our. Um, uh, platforms and all our uh, vendor platforms, which is they have to fulfill these five criteria. So this is to give our local SMEs um, a, a guarantee uh, and a peace of mind that uh, you will get your you, you will be able to get business overseas, lah, Which is uh, number one, which is the most important one, which is committed foreign buyers. So they should the platform should already have uh, ready foreign buyers for you overseas, and uh, there is intelligent business mark, uh, business matching. Um, uh, in place, which are matched, which means is which, which means is to uh, match uh, buyers to suppliers. Suppliers are the our local SMEs. Our buyers will be overseas. So uh, there is push financing, cross border e payment, and the uh, door to door fulfillment in place. This is uh, our criteria for for um, onboarding our platform vendors or our partners, uh, partners like Dodoka. Okay, so um. For interested SMEs, is actually uh, the, the the entire application process is uh, very straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is look for the is is to work with the the platform. I mean, over here will be Dodoka. Then I think they will they will explain to you the entire process later as well. For for um on 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 their side, all you need to do is actually to look for them, and they will carry out the entire application process with uh, IMDA. So this one is a uh, we we want to do it fast free lah. So it will be uh very it will be uh the 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 local SMEs will be able to onboard and start selling quickly. This is what uh, IMDA and ESG wants. So uh so for grant support we will there will be a seventy percent for local SMEs and fifty percent for non SME. Not SME means uh, your revenue is over one hundred million. Uh, so so this is uh this is a uh, the a very um general um grant support scheme that we have in place here and uh. In, in, in short, it is a collective uh, effort through our marketplace to bring SMEs uh, overseas. So um, back to this uh, uh, Dodoka. Okay, so they are one of our approved vendors among all our other uh, vendors like um, Easy, uh, which are B2B marketplace, uh, Easy, Easy Procure Businessman. So um, Dodoka is uh, one of our pre-approved vendors. The one of the <coughs> One of their one of their uh, specialty would be to uh, is WeChat marketing lah. So uh, WeChat marketing, as you know, is um rather is rather WeChat is rather big in China. I think it's the biggest uh, social media in China. So uh, we 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 also hope uh this is one of the schemes that we have been looking for for quite some time. We also hope that uh, more local SMEs can actually make use of this very very big um social media, which is uh. You should call it the the should, should, the only the almost the only social media that is uh, capable of marketing efforts in China uh, uh effective marketing efforts in China just like Facebook in Singapore so uh but plus this um Doloka has their own uh, viral marketing viral viral marketing scheme which uh, they will explain later. This is one of the reasons that we onboard uh, the local. Another thing is uh, actually, uh, I think for I think for in Singapore, I, I mean, in, and in the world now, we know of this. Uh, you you know of this entire COVID situation, which is something that uh, that actually hinders efforts to be physically overseas to do any and almost any type of marketing. If you want to set up businesses overseas you probably have to wait one year uh, set up a shop overseas or probably go even exhibitions overseas you will probably have to wait one year so that's why i think yesterday in uh, our um, dpm uh, dpm hangs uh, speech a uh, budget speech you will hear of the uh, a, a lot of the digitalization schemes one of them is uh, 
which, which, which you are MDA is pushing for, it will be the e-commerce. So uh, any type of e-commerce, we are, I mean here, over here, uh, we would want to say that uh, because SMS uh, here now is actually pushing for interna internationalization efforts, I think um, everybody can actually look for ESG and IMDA because there are a lot of schemes that help uh, local SME go versus through e-commerce, which is what we, we uh, which is one of the only ways to actually market your service uh, products and services overseas now, which is digitalization. And uh, in the long run, we see that digitalization through e-commerce Will be the will be here to stay because um, even without even without this COVID enormous situations, you can see that um, you cannot be everywhere in the world. I mean, businesses, I cannot be everywhere in China, even and everywhere in Singapore, uh, shops everywhere in Singapore. Even so, it has to add. But digital, but being digital can you can just sell anywhere, everywhere. So this is a uh, borderless. So uh, digitalization is uh, here to stay. So with or without COVID, it is something. E-commerce is something that uh, even. Uh, no matter if it's local or overseas, e-commerce is something uh, IMDA is recommending and pushing for very um, uh, furiously. Uh, so uh, we hope that uh, all SMEs can actually uh, take a look at, uh, take a step back and think about uh, your, 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 future, your future business development um, um, goals and plans and uh, hope that uh, you can think about digital uh, uh, e-commerce as part, of your, as part your, of your business operations. So, um, uh, so I'll hand it over to uh, Dodoka to explain what WeChat marketing and how they can help business, your business over in, uh, expand over in China. Thank you, Vivian. Yeah. Terry, please. Yes, hello everyone. Thanks very much, uh, Ian and team, for inviting Dodoka uh, to share here. I know that you are very focused and in your program, you look for various domain uh, experts to talk about things. So that makes me feel like an expert today. And of course, uh, also to Vivian from IMDA for choosing Duroka to work with in terms of this very important initiative of Grow Digital. Um, I notice Vivian is always very popular. Whenever she speaks, although she keeps herself to 10 minutes, uh, people will ask for the slides, people will want to understand, um, of course, deeper. So it's always my privilege to have her start um, for me. Yeah. Um, I intend to use about 45 minutes to share on three parts. And first of all, everyone, if you look at the virtual background behind me, uh, it would not be difficult for you to understand that I come wearing the hat of Duduka. It is a pro for profit SME, which I believe like all of you here, practically all of you here, we fall into the SME category. Your pains, we have as well. Uh, our pleasure, maybe you don't have yet. And that is the pleasure of working with IMDA Grow Digital team to make sure that we remain resilient during such times. And maybe because of what we do in the next few months, uh, we turn up even stronger than before. This sounds like MP talk, does it not? Well, I am Terry Lee. My job is to be the business development director. A lot of people would think that, ah, so you are the sales guy. Actually, that's what Phyllis, I think she's here as well, the founder of Duroka in Singapore, thinks so. Yeah. Uh, you can say that. It's okay. Not a problem. But I would like to also see it from a different point of view. Maybe that's how SMEs look at their own business development director as well. Take away the word director is okay. Business development, what does it do? So I define myself this way. I'm here to develop your business. But it doesn't mean you don't have to work. You probably have to work harder than before. My job will be a job if I can help you develop your business. I learned this from IMDA. They are the enabler. They can't do the job for you. They can't say that they know your business better than you. However, they can help you do your business better than before. So I take that and I use it to inform myself how I do better. I see a message coming in about the contact detail of Duroka. We are very lazy these days after we have embraced uh, WeChat. So my contact details is on my left of my virtual background and on my right. The left, if you scan, will bring you to a group of very friendly people. Some of them already are in it. And then you can scan it, it's definitely safe. It brings you into a WeChat group, yeah. If you are new to WeChat, this is your first group. I'm very privileged. If you are not new to, the, to WeChat, then this could be one of the many, but I would like it to be a very different and better one. So for us to follow up. Okay, on my right is one that will encroach on your PTBA 
PDVA if you are not happy with it. Why? <laughs> because it will need some information about you. Scan it and part with your information so that we can follow up with you about SG Pavilion. It must be something good for you, right? Okay, at least IMDA says so. That is their objective. But they can't do all the work themselves, so they work with vendors like Doroka. And I'm here having spent five minutes just to set the context. Um, I have a lot to go today, so I hope I, I can get on to everybody's uh, good books you know, after that because they deliver value in terms of things. I will start broadcasting now. It is a video. Don't be surprised if I get bumped up because this video could be heavy. I try as much as possible to make it lighter. Okay. Okay, so bear with me a bit as I show you this, and I will be quiet, and you can If you enjoy. are sitting in the United States or Europe right now, you've probably never used a Chinese app. But the reality is, if you want to know how the internet will develop, China, the land once known for its cheap ripoffs, has actually become a guide to the future. You know, the internet is the internet. But for China, the internet is more like an intranet. It's largely walled off from the Western world by this incredibly complex system of filters and blocks that we call the Great Firewall. And basically, the Great Firewall blocks any foreign site the Communist Party doesn't think it can control. So that means there is no Facebook, no Twitter, no Google. Instead, what filled the internet vacuum was a generation of Chinese copycats that have grown into huge companies. So for Google, you had Baidu, for YouTube, you had Yoku, for Twitter, you had Sina Weibo, and the list goes on and on. It's almost as if the Chinese internet is a lagoon as an aside to the greater ocean of the internet. And in that lagoon, there are these swamp monster apps that bear some resemblance to the creatures in the ocean, but are mutated in some ways because they evolved in a different kind of environment. But things have started to shift in the sense that before, no one outside of the lagoon really cared about the swamp monsters. But now, all of a sudden, some of the features they've developed are so amazing that Western apps are trying to copy them. And the greatest example of this is WeChat. WeChat is an example of, uh, for lack of a better word, a super app. It's a Swiss army knife that basically does everything for you. It's your WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype, and Uber. It's your Amazon, Instagram, Venmo, and Tinder. But it's other things we don't even have apps for. There are hospitals that have built out whole appointment booking systems. There are investment services. There are even heat maps that show how crowded a place is, be it your favorite shopping mall or a popular tourist site. The list of services goes on basically forever. But it's not the variety of things you can do on WeChat that makes it so powerful. It's the fact that they're all in one app. So why does that matter? Hypothetically, imagine you're sitting at home and one day you notice your corgi is dirty. You open WeChat, hit a few buttons, and a few hours later a man shows up at your door with some shampoo and a big vacuum. Your dog gets cleaned and he looks great. You take a photo, you share it with your friends, and tag the dog cleaning business. You haven't left the app. Your friend who likes Hello Kitty and works a boring office job is slacking off at work and looking at WeChat. She sees the photo of your clean corgi. She decides she wants her poodle clean. She clicks the tag on your photo and orders the same service. Within seconds, the man with the big vacuum is on his way to her house. She pays him, and he's happy because he got paid instantly on WeChat. She starts chatting with you to thank you. Neither of you have left the app. While chatting, she tells you about a new hip noodle joint. She says, you have to come. It's a schlep, but you accept. She orders food while still at her desk. You order a taxi. She pays for the food. On the way to her house, the man with the big vacuum invests the money he earned from both of you into a wealth management product that's probably a little too risky. Neither of you, nor the man with the big vacuum, have left the app. Both of you arrive and the app tells the kitchen you're there. Your WeChat profile photo pops up on the wall. It's an old photo from the year you had that weird part in your hair. Of course she makes a comment. Your food is served. You notice your meat is a bit overcooked, so you snap a photo and post a disparaging restaurant review. You're already on your phone, and you remember you still owe your friend money because she paid and transfer her money. Neither of you, the man with the big vacuum, nor the restaurant have left the app. At the restaurant, there are no menus, there are no waiters, there is no cashier. There is only WeChat. By rolling so many functions into one single app, it's altered the concept of virality. It's no longer just videos or images or tweets that can go viral. It's a dog washer, noodles, all sorts of companies and products that get the push of a social network. Here in China, that network is 700 million people. Sounds great, right? Well, it is, 
but using a single app to find a date, schedule an oil change, or notarize a document also enables WeChat to collect a staggering volume of personal data. They know what you talk about, who you talk about it with, what you read, where you go, why you're going there, who's there, how you spend money when you're online, how you spend money when you're offline. The list goes on indefinitely. For advertisers, this is a miracle. It's the combined data of Facebook, Amazon, Google, and PayPal, all in one place. The problem is, all of the data is information. Okay, I'm back. I hope you guys enjoy this clip somewhat. Let me just take a quick look. Huh? Okay, got it. Some of them, da, da, da. we have some comments. Okay, I need, may need to come back quickly uh, to you shortly after <laughs> this session because I have up till about just before 3 p.m. I hope you enjoy the video. I always enjoy how Americans put things together. This is a video due to a research done by New York Times. I'm sure you understand how authoritative New York Times is in terms of press. So when you talk about fake news, it's unlikely to be New York Times. You talk about news that really hit the core of the American people, you can count on New York Times. And then they don't need me to advertise for them, you know. And you can very well find YouTube this and see the whole thing. I stop at the word problem because they are indeed problems from the American point of view. And that's why they're looking for problems and trouble. But that's their piece of it. Let's come back to SME in Singapore, as Vivian has very accurately defined for us. And micro enterprises has a very cute name in China. It's called Xiao Wei Chi Ye. You just say Xiao Wei. Ah, Xiao Wei is not a name of a girl. Ah, Xiao Wei Chi Ye. That means micro enterprises. You are taken care of. In fact, they are doing very well in China. Why? Thanks to WeChat. My objective here today is to evangelize WeChat. So you can hardly find me saying negative things about WeChat. Having said that. My very, very first open public webinar on the 24th of April, some of my participants, uh, they asked me, why don't you say something negative about WeChat? I think I will leave it to you yeah, to do that. If I have an opportunity here to share with you something that's, an, that's really an opportunity, I'd like to focus on the positive part first. But having said that, it's only human nature to worry about things like, oh, privacy? Like, what if everybody knows my data? Us, who are we? Are we, are we business people? If we are business people, we really want to have data. Do you want your data to be sitting on the lights of, I'm just citing an example, Tmall, Taobao, Tianmao, yeah, Jingdong, Lazada, Shopee, even Amazon? You want? You can, but it's not going to be yours. So what WeChat does is, yes, let the privacy issue be settled by the mega platform called Tencent, which owns WeChat. As far as we are concerned, see, we need to be very clear who we are. We are SME owners. We are up against the odds, although we account for about two-thirds of the employment in Singapore. And in COVID times, MOM is going to want to make sure that we are steady. But we don't have a lot of ammunition. My next video will be talking about no ammunition, then how? Yeah, no ammunition, then how? We want to focus on, we want to do the best with very little. So security issue is unlikely to be an SME top priority. Ultimately, we need to prioritize. Yeah. So think of that first. Yeah? Think of that first because we need to have that position correct. And I'm not here to convince you. I'm just here to align us uh, so that we can think in the same direction. Then all these bullets uh, that IMDA has aligned for us, prepared for us, will be well used, not anyhow spray. Yeah? We, we need to understand that as SME, we don't have a lot of ammunition, so we borrow. Like Zhuge Liang, got no arrows, so he go and play one trick, come back, got a lot of arrows. Cao Chuan, Jie Jie. Jie Chuan, Chu Hai. All this can be done. And if SMEs don't do it, who will? The mega ones don't have to worry about it. So let's have that. And as my time ticks, I want to bring you to the next video. Take a look at how some of our counterparts yeah, in 2017 have done. So contextualize, I, I have just brought you back to 2016 New York Times. Then 2017, what happened? Let's take a look at it.
The government has been urging small and medium-sized enterprises to go digital with an online presence or an app. But this can mean a costly investment, which is why some SMEs have found a different solution. The ubiquitous WeChat is used almost exclusively in China, but has also gained a following in Singapore. Users know that the app is more than just for communication. It has social networking and payment features too. The all-in-one approach is what attracted one local SME to use the platform rather than build something from scratch. Some SMEs also see it as an opportunity to gain access and exposure in China. I have customers from Malaysia, Indonesia, and as well as in China. They can pay, uh, make payment through WeChat as well. That's why we, once we receive the payment, we will courier the dresses to them. We have more and more Chinese customers get to know us. And of course, we are thinking of the opportunities to explore the business in China. However, building new features and applications for corporate accounts on WeChat is not so straightforward. The tools to build the features are only available to select developers such as Dodoka. Fortunately for SMEs looking to explore such options, the authorities recently pre-qualified Dodoka under its iSprint program, which encourages technology adoption by SMEs. SMEs do not have the resources uh, nor the technical capability to be able to build uh, applications. So what IMD has done is to pre-approve solutions that have been proven to work. Dodoka says it's currently working on a project to help us access new international markets via WeChat. As part of efforts to drive digitalization among SMEs, the government recently enhanced several schemes, including iSprint, which would see grants of up to 70% being dispersed for technology adoption. Okay, we should be back now. So. Hmm, okay. Hi everyone, I'm back. Again, it's me, the same Perry before the two videos. Yeah, I yeah, watched two videos. One, date back to 2016. So you might think, wow, old news, eh? why use old news? Because it's very relevant to us. So I don't know whether we want to be very ashamed or you want to be very encouraged that four years ago, time has, seems to have frozen. How many of you here have your shop running the way that the example of the restaurant is like in the 2016 New York Times video? How many of you? Uh, or rather put it this way, how many of you want to be like that? After so I'll show you one example of a Singapore local example, my user, Kim's Place Seafood. Yeah. But it's okay if you are not yet on it. It's important that you decide that you want because that's what we want to do. We are an enabler for you. If you don't want, we, we really cannot force upon you. But if you want, we want to make use of time. So this concept of this, Chinese put it very nicely, if we can use time to change the space so that you can be competitive, why don't we do that? I think COVID is like this. And IMDA is very clever. Over the next, not more than half a year, it is possible for us to trade the next six months. Although I cannot fly. I think I can't fly until October. That's what the Chinese government is saying. I can't fly into that. They're not welcoming me. So there is this six months which I'm going to get fat in Singapore. But no, I'm going to make use of the time to work with you to exchange for something. What is Kongjian? That means a competitive scape. We will use to compete. How are we going to become more competitive? Never mind. Whatever New York Times say in 2016, let's make it a reality now. And then not just to fortify what we have, fortify, fortitude, uh, fortify in Singapore, we push to China. So I have two hashtags as to local. One is WeChat and the other one is China. So the later part of my sharing here, it will be about how I do that push into China with all of us to a pavilion. I can hear that sense of urgency in Vivian's sharing just now that this is what we want our solution partner to do. Uh, what that? Put us together on a platform and go off to 
the consumers in China. Now, you can don't want that. Even if you don't want that, you will already have become very strong in Singapore in the first place. So the Chinese also have this saying that let us be strong inside, then we go outside, which is great, which is what fortitude is about. We make ourselves strong here, so we have a choice to go out. So I hope you can appreciate what is the structure of today's sharing is about making us stronger first. Making us stronger first. And we can exchange the time we have on our hands, which is kind of stuck, to exchange for something that is useful, which will let us be very competitive. Okay, the second video, why I choose 2017. Actually, if you could see, just as the figure that is cited in the New York Times, uh, which was about saying 700 million users. No, today it's 1.2 billion. It's almost double. And the whole of China had 1.5 billion people at most. And that's China. The rates of increase is so rapid from 2016 to now 2020. And WeChat was invented only in 2011. Yeah, okay. The good thing is we can leapfrog. And I'm looking at us doing that Yeah, with IMDA's various initiatives, especially Grow Digital. But before we grow digital, which is go to China, go overseas and so on, let's go, G-O, go digital first, which is digitalize. I'm making a very bold assumption that you're not digitalized yet. Yeah, most go Facebook, look at picture, you go WeChat, talk to friends, supplier and so on. But it's okay, actually it's a good foundation. It's a good foundation to, to continue with. And for those people who are asking me how to have your contact and so on, I try to make it easy for you. Yeah, on the left-hand side, there's this QR code at the back of my, this, this virtual background, you scan, you get into a WeChat group, we will talk more things. You will notice I will speak faster and faster after a while because I think you are already warmed up and I like to speak fast. And I hope you will still understand. Okay, I continue. You must understand first why I give you these two videos set into context and why 2017 because those are among the earlier adopters. You might ask, are they still around and so on? Actually, I don't really care. What I care is that SMEs are vibrant. I don't care if individuals are around because they could have made their money and they retire. They could have really got what they want and they do something else do charity, whatever they like, which is good. And this is what we are all wanting to do. So SMB is not here to slog. We are here to take what we can and work better. And better is defined by you. If we chat as a super app, you can appreciate and you want to do something with it, the next thing must be make it work for you, okay? I'm going to move into my second part of my sharing, which is then, have you example, Terry, of people who can work very well with it? I'm going to show you now. So bear with me a bit as I share screen. Now, I'm going to show you a video. This one will not look so pro, lah, but it's as real as the one that I show you anyway. I just go do this first. 点餐点餐模式先找到经济海鲜屋公众号来了接着点进去第一次关注马上跳出来点餐的这个选项如果你已经是粉丝的话你就打八然后又跳出同样的东西 点开它, 接着就是找到了Duduka Day Promotion 这是特别的 价位52252块两毛 可以拿到什么优惠呢? 相信你们很快就会知道当中的好处耶 OK, 个人资料还是要填的 要不然怎么去安全送达文家里呢? 好,好玩的马上来了就是怎么交付付钱啊 有微信支付的方式 转成人民币,直接,商家收新币,用Visa not bad, how about I show you quickly another video? Play again, relax a little bit. 在经济海鲜屋打个溜,留下你的联系方式啦,然后呢,接着就是一个好玩的游戏,我们称之为幸运大转盘。啊,你看我这打字的技术,够绝了吧。好,终于可以了,提交。对,来了。玩这游戏你猜我会得到什么几等奖吗?哎呀,四等奖。OK啦,我要把这个记录好,因为下回到了老板那儿,给他看,有好
So I think there are some questions already. Allow me to look at it later. I'm sure my colleagues are also looking at them now and organizing for you, so not to worry. I need to make sense of what the two videos I show you just now. First, it is real, of course, like all the things we said since the first minute today. We cannot fabricate anything. Whether it's the New York Times report, it's the news on five, we cannot. Neither can I create a Kim seafood out of nowhere. You go to Katong, you will find them. Now, they are very focused. They focus on the new immigrants in Singapore, very adept to using WeChat. It doesn't mean it ignores us. In fact, I'm going to show you an example of me ordering. Just now, it was me ordering, and I'm going to show you the back end, which is very secret. But the boss, yeah, um, Yong Han, uh, okay, he said, all right. In fact, he buddy me. Last week, we gave a sharing yeah, to our, yeah, just like you're very active, bunch of SMEs, which are our users. We have users since 2015, yes. Then we go through various generation. If you are thinking that, oh, the other time we used it was like that, only that one only. Exactly. That was a sign of the times. Things do improve. So by now, we are 3.0. Which means if we are a robot, we become more and more power. You remember Terminator? Every time they come back, they become stronger until they are indestructible. I think SMEs are like that too. You, you keep renewing yourself into 4.0, 5.0 and so on. The objective is you get better and better. And that's how we survive and be resilient. Okay. Now, if you look at Kim Seafood, I go very fast, right? Just to kind of whet your appetite. Quite impossible for you to get everything on. The best you can do now is say, okay, I saw you. I see whether you're or not. I go to the Ung Chung Hao, Kim's place, seafood. Then maybe you are looking at it and ordering now. What are the few things you have to observe? This one equals uh, to what Dodo Car can give you and what IMDA will provide with PSG a grant to make it more affordable for you. So listen carefully. We'll give you the infrastructure. Now, infrastructure is the keyword buzzword, especially in China. In fact, they add a word new to it, like new F&B, new retail, new infrastructure. And I think SME, we're not about to get another store, hire a lot more GM and so on, but we need to invest in those which are going to bring us for a further one. So what kind of infrastructure we need? Like you think, what are the new type of water, electricity I need for my business? And I would say is this, look at Kim's Place. What do they have? They have an official account equals to website that we can go to. Okay, you must have that. You don't have that, it's very malu. It's meaning, uh, where do you start? You are a restaurant. You obviously people eat offline, cannot, cannot eat online, right? But you need an online presence for people to get to you. Why do you talk about Yeah. Actually, So the restaurant boss knows that. So he has an official account. If you don't already have one, let us give it to you. Okay. If you already have one, how about add on some more, which is the online store, the second one, online store, yeah. online store, shop, right? Do what more to bring. You want to collect orders, you want to collect money, and of course, third one, collect money. So your can can collect money. Yeah, can collect money. That's important. Huh? Um, the Chinese like to say this, the ability for you to collect money, the speed at which you collect money shows how powerful you are, how steady you are. So you can imagine, uh, Ma Yun, Jack Ma, and Pony Ma, which is Ma Hua Teng, they must be very good in collecting money. But if you cannot have a presence for people to see you, which is your official account, and you don't have a place on the store or shop, then you can't collect. Right? So you want to have all this language. Like, some more you want to have a fourth one, which is to spice up the life. You want a little game or something like that? Aha, uh -huh, but you go and ask people to put up a spin, a wheel of fortune. How much is going to cost you? How going to block your, your entrance and so on? How about doing it on the phone? Because everybody has one. So that engagement. People ask, how do I make them interested in coming back to me and so on? How about every day can spin? Spin already, get tofu, tofu. Next time you go, you can exchange for something. I'm just citing one example. I hope you can. Win now. Wow, moment. Thanks for giving me the feedback. So I hope the win is not disturbing us now. Okay, I may repeat a little bit because this is important. In Yonghan store, which is online, and his seafood restaurant, which is offline, they are having some nice chemical reaction. It allows us to go to his online space, which is official account, and place an order. We can take advantage of some offers, which I did, the 522, $52.20, to get delivery sent to me. It was a really a good deal. Yeah, And of course, it can happen again, if you want to do that for yourself and so on. So all these things add together, four things, huh? 
backwards. The games, the store, the collecting of the money, as well as the official account is what Dodoka can give you. And in fact, we've been giving this for the last almost five years, from 1.0 to 2.0 to now 3.0. So you can expect improvement, you can expect upgrades. So with this, we give it a name, okay? We give it a long name. Dodoka Integrated Mobile Marketing Productivity Solution. How many of you can remember all of it now? How about shorter called DIMPS? D I M M P S. Mm. How about just remember one word? Let's call it productivity. Productivity means the efficiency in which we're going to get orders, we're going to collect money, we're going to make delivery, we're going to let people like us and come back to us. The efficiency also for them to tell others about us. So you need the first official account. Okay. Now you may want to ask. Is it going to be very gilad, very nice, and very strong and powerful present and so on? I say we will actually do 1.0 first for you. And then you progress from there. This is what we do for you. Okay, what does the government help in that? Yes, it's giving 80% grant. In concrete terms, how much is it going to be? Okay, I will jump to the end and make you feel like, wow, that's impossible. You can spend as little as $224 on this. Whenever I say this, I'm very scared. You see, people ask me, can you derive it and so on? No, I think I will leave it as that. Because this is my own cunning way of letting you know that here that it is, can be so cheap, man. Ah. But the numbers all can trace. The important thing is, so just in advertising, ah, we like to tell people the best case scenario. How much you're going to pay? As low as 224. That means as low as, no, as high as what? Okay, if you don't want to grant, if, because you are more than 100 million um, revenue and you just don't want to grant, then you just pay us 10,000. 272 lah. But since you are GST registered, most likely, since you're so big, so you pay 9006 will do. But I don't want you all to pay 9006 to me just like that. I want you to tap the government grant because the government wants you to use that money so that we have the good way to partner with you and see your transformation digitally. Today, the topic is about digital transformation, tapping it and make you having some leverage to be stronger in Singapore and go to China. So I'm about to move into that part about China. Before that, I want to show you some back-end stuff. For those of you who don't like details, you may not like this. But I think if I don't show you this, uh, those people who are very, very serious about back-end uh, will find that uh, everybody on because you just go and take a look at other people's uh, official account. Right? So how about I do this? Let me do this. Okay. I suppose you can see this, right, people? This is the back end. It has some details. These are real. This is what you will have as an SME if you have this system of doing ordering. It sits on your official account, which we will give you. Then you collect money, which is real. Whether your other party is in China paying renminbi or using Visa or Master or using Nets and so on, you receive what you want to receive. In this case, it's 52.2. It also shows up. See, even if the other and I pay for it, I pay in renminbi. The boss will still receive in this one. Okay, let me see what else can I show you. Ah, how about this? So actually you can summarize uh, that your sales go up and your expenses come down. Okay, that's Kim's Place for you. I want to thank Kim's Place for very willing uh, to, to share this info uh, um, with, with all of us here. Okay, now I'm going to now move into the other phase. I'm going to show you a video so you can take a break from my voice. Come. A new era has dawned. Are you still seeking attention within your social circle? After being blacklisted and blocked, you are left with fewer friends and loved ones. Worse still, you have yet to achieve your marketing goals. As a WeChat merchant, how can you be put in such a dire position? Want to know how we solve these problems? The third generation WeChat distribution system of Ren Ren Tian comes to the rescue, to the relief of traditional enterprises, e-commerce stores, and WeChat merchants who are still struggling in the marketing whirlpool. Ren Ren Tian is different from the traditional WeChat merchant marketplaces. It helps you to open your store much quicker, is more flexible, and has a lower barrier to entry. You no longer need to upload products, and with just one click, your store is open. Now everyone can be your distribution agent. Your distribution network is created in an instant. Ren Ren Tian has a comprehensive and transparent distribution system, which directly connects both the interests of merchants and customers together. With just one click, everyone can be a part of your distribution channel. Furthermore, you can also distribute your product indefinitely, as you are not limited by time and location. Let your distribution network grow exponentially today. Lack of followers? No online traffic? Run Run Tian has access to all current mainstream social media platforms and supports single-click sharing. With strong relationships in no time, your friends can become your sub-distributors and customers. 
you will be able to achieve explosive word-of-mouth marketing with an extensive reach. Moreover, RunRunGen's powerful back-end dashboard provides strong support for all its functions. Cash flow, information flow, and logistics are all managed by the manufacturer. This is a one-stop platform for product management, transaction management, membership management, distributor management, channel revenue management, and order integration. Renowned brands such as Hai Er, King Tai Fook, Peace Bird, Bright Dairy and Food, Grace China, Zhou Yang, Brati Bakery, Ke Ke Xiang, MZN Hai Pai Mask are already on board. The wave of WeChat distribution has already started. What are you still waiting for? Come on board, run run the today and let us help your business I'm sure you soar. like the, at least the last part, right? Help your business soar. Then you must be thinking, hmm, what does it take? What does it take? So now let me just show you what does it take. Mm, the Chinese like to say, uh, 天下没有掉下免费的馅饼. That means nothing is free. La. I want to add that if something is for free, it is probably a lot more expensive. The Chinese say, 免费最贵. Have you ever got this kind of encounter? Okay, I don't mean to scare you. Uh. I'm just reflecting on my own past experience as well. So again, I'm Terry from Dudoka in Singapore. We are a company registered in Singapore. We work with IMDA as their B2C solution provider to do two things. Let us adopt WeChat and digitalize that way. And let us go to China together if that is your desire. And that's definitely Singapore's desire. This company exists in that, for that purpose. There are two QR codes here. I think by now you know what to do with it. First, they are very safe. And secondly, if you scan the one on the left, and you will be getting into my WeChat group for today, especially set up for today. I see that actually quite a number of you have done so. Very good. The other, right, the other side one was, will, take, will request uh, information about you, your company, and so on. Actually, this one, uh, if you do that, then we can prioritize you in terms of you have indicated your interest, but you have no legal obligation to us. Don't worry. Huh? You're not selling your soul, signing on the dotted line, nothing of that. Just prioritizing because time is of the essence. Quick glimpse of the company. Wow, it looks like a big company called Group and so on. Huh? Our objective is to let you know how we have come about. The sequence is like this. First, we have on the left hand side, Toroka Information Technology Private Limited. Just to let you know that like you, we are incorporated in Singapore. Yeah, we also make use of government grants, like you, and so on. Todoka International comes about because now I want to show you the third part of my presentation. I have about maybe 10 minutes or so, just on time, to share with you what is it that Vivian from IMDA just now shared about going China, about really embracing a bigger, bigger market. And that's what Todoka International is going to be responsible for. So you begin to feel that, wow, this company like that, huh? but one project, they give one company, almost like that. So Turoka Institute and Marketing comes into play as soon as you adopt SG Pavilion and you want to have training needs met, ongoing one, not just software, huh? and you want to have marketing services met. That means not just advertising, but the strategy, not just strategy, but also the rollout, including in China. The video I shared with you just now, if you look at it closely, you will, you will probably think that, hey, I worry, leh, Terry, I worry, why? Leh? Because this one, all oh, China is number, I don't know them. You don't know them, to hold out, to deal out. If you don't know them, then I can be useful. Ma. Now, what if you know them very well? Then also very good. <laughs> then you know they're doing well. You know I'm not baited here. Huh? The important thing is what China is good at, we want to leapfrog. They know, but they're still open to us because they're not scared. The video is here, you have seen it already. Now, here, this is the Goyo we come to tell you. But actually, you should want to look at it huh, from the point of view of this is IMDA say cannot promise any less and cannot do any less. Look at it closely. Some of you are asking God, but this slide for me to take a look, tear apart, and later hold you responsible. Now, of course, can. Uh, I would suggest instead of I send separately email or whatever, we do one thing common for ourselves. Scan this QR code on my left here and then get into the group and I share in the group. Very efficient. Because if I cannot be productive, uh, I cannot show that I'm going to let you be more productive by WeChat. Ma. I'll just take one example on the left hand side here, bottom. Uh, open an online branch with one click. Are you serious? Open an online branch with one click. The banks will be very interested. La. The banks are closing their, their bank branches uh, with one click. Uh, but we are here opening our online branch with one click. Can or not? I say can. Okay. How? I want to show you, but I can't because it takes a lot of time. Yeah. So you take it as a promise. You must show me, okay, Terry, you can you promise you show me and we can we experience it in the WeChat group as it can. If it's WeChat group, I can. If it's here, bid it only. Now, bid it because it's not enough time to do a proper job. 
Last week I did, but I invested like 10 to 15 minutes to take one of my user onto here in a webinar and then share. And then she did very well after that. The funny thing is she did very well after that. A lot of people scan her QR code and in the end she shows how showing one click is just like transforming a poster only. Someone don't have a design, it will come out. And then people scan her QR code, yeah, just like this kind of QR code, huh? and then she can make money from it. The objective is to, not to make your money. Actually, it's to do a demo, but end up, people, wow, steady. Your business framework in a nutshell will be something like this. You are from Singapore, you are a brand. And that's why the government loves you because collectively you make Singapore Inc. looks very good. And we are very good. Just ask the tourist arrivals from China. The singularly biggest tourist arrivals from the world is from China. And the singularly biggest spender is the Chinese. They will come back one. And they like Singapore brands. Yeah, of course, they like Japanese brands, Korean brands. They like Singapore brands. That's the important thing. Some of us have already taken the lead for ourselves to go into China, the right-hand side there. How's your experience so far dealing with the China consumers? We leave it as dot, 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 okay? You fill in the blanks. But I think the government knows the difficulty we face. That's why in the middle, we want to put a SGP, stand for a Singapore Pavilion. Why? And hold the Dota responsible, okay? For building such a platform and for us to sell collectively as a platform into China. The experience will be different. I can tell you it's a lot easier. Some people ask me, no le, I just tie on logistics. Show you this slide. This slide, there's a this middle part with a bigger concentric circle, Xinjiang or Chen Chuko, essentially means Singapore Pavilion. Wow, are you promising so many things? Are you sure or not? Maybe take a picture and then hold you responsible. From content to customer service to warehousing, integration service some more. Why does it sound so familiar? I thought in Singapore some people are already doing. No, for a long time, Singapore always do. Training, IT system, some more two-way, uh, Singapore to China, China come back also, is a must. If you look at Vivian's slides carefully just now, you will notice that you cannot promise anything less than that because otherwise we cannot work with you. So, Dian Dian Ke, which is a Chinese name for Tutoka, must do this. So, are we sure we can do this? Of course. Why? Because we take our technology from video just now. It was in Chinese, then we oh, voice over in English. Huh? You see the Ren Ren Dian there, which is... Yeah, 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 yeah. This big word, Ren Dian, right? So that is the made in China version. Builds on WeChat. If WeChat has built itself to 100 floor, what Ren Ren Dian would have done, metaphorically, is built to 110. And for us, we start our business from 110, which is high up already, not ground up. If you have to build for ground zero, it's too expensive. That's why in the News on 5 video, we stated that we don't have the ability to build. It's not the expertise, it's not the budget. We don't have. So IMDA want to get a quick, fast track for us. Green lane, if possible. And that's why we, we use Dodoka. Of course, when we use Dodoka, I'm sure IMDA use other solutions. Because today we are talking about e-commerce, Singapore, go China. Then when you narrow down to it, we only have one choice that I can see so far, which is Dodoka. Okay. We're not the best in the world. But we might be the only one available now willing to chill with the whole of Singapore. I wouldn't mind if there are more. Okay. I don't mind if there are more. But for now, let's call a spade a spade. In Singapore Pavilion, look at this slide. What is there? The middle one is there. La. Whether you're in Jinju Da Sha, Pearl Center, People's Park, um, Capital Mall, any of their malls and so on, you are there. It's a physical one, but we know what's happening there now, okay? Um, but it's okay, we don't dig it in. Right hand side, no, sorry, left hand side, Xinjiabo Chen Chu Go, okay? That, that phone over there, what are we seeing? Something that looks very normal, very common. Well, this is what we want to create for you in Singapore. Now, it's nothing there, you ask me. Why? Because we just started in April, this initiative called Grow Digital and specifically Totoka SG Pavilion. Yeah. So, you don't have, I need to come on board. You come on board as individual user, corporate-wise, SME by SME. We only have 140 to, to give up in the beginning, to give out in the beginning, and you need to pass the various kind of examination, though it's pre-approved. First, then I can put you on the left-hand side. Then middle you have, the right hand side is the magic. The right hand side is the magic because this is what we want to see in China. They already have that. You see, IMDA requires proven track record. So Totoka in Shanghai already have 100,000 installations of which majority of them know how to run on their own already by now. Why? Because they have a head start. And some of them, sizable enough, have come together and create their own winning stories. After this, I'll show you the winning stories, okay? This one is all, I haven't changed it because I'm nostalgic. In China, they like to use this term called San Ji Fen Xiao. Some of my Singapore friends, when they see this, they, they, they say they smell a rat. I say this is near tip marketing. And what is the term that is a lot more poised and polished in Singapore or Western world? It's called affiliate program. Hello? Affiliate program. Yeah. So that's what China calls San Ji Fen Xiao. 
Then some people call it 二级分销 Some people call it 裂变分销分销裂变 I give one word lah. I give one scary word for you. Proliferation. Proliferation if it is is arms ah, arms ah. Then you think, wow, cannot, cannot, cannot proliferate arms. But can we proliferate virus also? Cannot lah. Don't know, don't. But can we make marketing viral? Ah, we don't mind. So it means viral. Now, viral. Do you need to incentivize? We say can and can also cannot lah. Also up to you lah. We say that what if you want to incentivize? Then in the middle, the picture here with all these. Oxygen or octagon or octagon, right? You see these six-sided shapes. It means to show you that's how we proliferate. That's how we make it viral with some incentive. Must it be five, three, one, and so on? Okay, lah. No need. We will devise it. What's the magic that we're providing here? We're providing the system for you to do it. So you must can only take my word for it because today I'm not showing you how to do it. If you go to my WeChat group and you're interested, we'll show you how by doing that proliferation, which is. Equals lah to the concept of affiliate program, we are able to go viral with our marketing with more people who are not even on our payroll, and we can target all these markets like mainland China, local Chinese tourists, and so on. Well, that's not bad. Are you sure? But does it come with a lot more cost? Yes. If you do your market outreach on your own, it cannot cost you a lot. But we're going to do it as a platform. Allow me to just say that we can't do a platform alone. Platform is not a call how like a slogan. Platform is real. If 140 of you were to come together with us, I'm sure we are already a platform like this one. Case study, Hui Tong Ta. Anybody knows them? Actually, they want you to know them. They just just want to do what the Chinese say, "men sheng fa da cai." That means quietly, very low profile, very tactically make their money. How would we know they are making money? Because Tutoka in Shanghai works with them as the marketing services. Remember Tutoka marketing, marketing services. But that come as a cost, which I'm unable to give you free or reduced now. Why? Because I'm working hard on it. So whatever I can do for you, I already said just now. One is the dims, yeah, for which we have one package, because the government sponsors it to some extent. We call it subsidy lah. Then next one will be SG Pavilion. I have given you an example here. Of course, I can go a lot deeper if I have more time separately, but I don't. So I continue with another one, which is Kui Nong. You can just commit it to your memory and say, okay, so China got one, got some good examples of successful GMV sales all go up. Man. Singapore have or not? I tell you, don't have, not yet. But what Singapore have is Louis Lai, give me money. Why do we want to be like this? Because everything comes at a cost. If I give you free, you won't cherish it and it won't be real. I must be trying to get back some other way. We all know all this tactic. So we tell you clearly how much it costs. 20,000. Actually, it's a lot more in China. Some of you, very smart one, go and check already. So you can tell the rest, it costs more. But okay, 20,000. Singapore, if you are so rich, you don't want to take subsidy, we're happy, shake hand with you, let's go. And they give you what? 16,000 for software and 4,000 for training. Okay, it cover you for the first 12 months. But the government thinks that you are micro businesses, you are SME, you deserve to get 70% or more. I'm very conservative. I say 70% first, lah, okay? With the dims, I'm very, I'm very aggressive. I say, wow, you pay as low as 224 only. Who you dare to say that? So after she'll be asking me, oh, yeah, bro, I, want, I want to check, no? Real or not? Okay, for this one, sure, real one. 70% is the minimum, so long as you're SME. Yeah? But you want to get more? Then we can find out how you can get more. There are some who can get more. Uh, can get more. Okay, we'll elaborate. Who is very good in elaborating that? Okay, before that. 6,000 is what you pay therefore. This is the max that I can see you paying if you join us as the first 140, okay? First 140. Then after that, I don't know. Of course, I try to check out the price if I can. Ah. Those of you eyes very sharp one will see my name and my contact number. Okay, even if you need it. The person who is very good in putting all this together uh, is actually at IMDA. Lah. Plus, the founder of this company, Phyllis Lin. Some of you already know her. Contact details, the usual things. I want to stop here just for a while. If you want to take a picture of this, if you don't want to go to my WeChat group, you don't want to talk to me anymore, so you take a picture of this and say that, okay, now I know, IMDA logo put down there, must be a real one, of course. But if you like to join our group, left-hand side is the, look, is the QR code you can scan, right-hand side is one that you can pop with some of information, so we prioritize you, yeah, as SME who wants us to talk to you first, okay? All right, good. I'm coming back to show you my face. Stop broadcast. I've already bought you, uh, for, do you realize? Almost 15 minutes, past my time already. So I will just do a quick summary for just one minute. What have I done today? Yeah, with Ian's permission, uh, one more minute, uh, is um, I have scared you with a video from New York Times, so powerful one, and say that four years ago, they already discovered a secret. They may want to call it a conspiracy, but that's their own problem. 
to me, I saw in this one of the probably the most authoritative analysis and quite entertaining also uh, about WeChat World. They call Super App. Okay, so this Super App has grown a lot more until now. Practically everybody in China uses it. So Vivian is very accurate. The singularly most popular social media on which majority, vast majority use it to pay. That means what the example there in New York Times show about people scanning, pay, complain and so on must be real. And after that, look at Singapore. Oh, so there are some early adopters, 2017, 2017, you might know some of them. They really had collected money. And I think SME, the ability to collect money is supreme. It means it shows that need, per year. So if that is the case, then look at now. Kim Seafood, are they able to use time? They have a lot of time on their hands because both saying need. But how about they have prepared themselves online first? So they have business to exchange for, use the time to exchange for another domain, which is the online domain, so that their offline domain can still do business. See? Clever of them. And then some back end to show you stuff. And finally now, yes, the deck can. I always suggest that Lisa, you just Go to my group, easier to send to everybody also at the same time, not, not like, why, why am I so slow and so on. And then finally, to bring to the current context is, I'm sending out an invitation to all of you. The first 140, by now we have some application already, so 100, 140, okay. You sign up, you're not obliged, but you just give us your information, we can sign up. Of course, you can sign up also through SMF, we have done a great job doing partnership in, in the industry. And then let us know that you want to find out more, so we prioritize you. I want to see the 140 come in ASAP. The adoption is important. The speed of the adoption is so important because I want to bargain. Even you hear this, huh? I want to bargain with IMDA to get more for SMEs. I want 70 become 80. I want, I want 80 become 90. Can one. Already some have, but not our sector in food and food manufacturing and F&B. I want to have. And then uh, Felix is going to say, have already. No, actually, don't say first. Say already, then they're all very holy. Don't, don't, don't say first. Don't have. We need numbers. Then we can put together, we, we will show that the platform is forming and then we can go. Over the China side, some people say, oh, your logistics cannot run. We have worked with some parties in Singapore, the logistics fail in China. Nobody sent for us. Now I can give you the assurance that we can. Why? Because we don't work from Singapore. We work from Shanghai, yeah, China. And then we work backwards from there. We use the service providers in Shanghai. Think about it now. What is the singularly most popular logistic provider in the whole of China? I don't give name. You think about it. It's not even sensitive, but Yes, uh, you know, struggle a little bit with it. And then we use that one to help us negotiate on the platform level, not at your one-by-one -one SME level. Okay, then you get the bigger picture. Thanks, Ian, for indulging in me. Uh, over to you and thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Don't go away. You have a lot of questions to answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but Felice answered quite, quite a lot of the questions already. Uh, thank you, everyone, for staying uh, uh, to, to now. Um, there's, there's a lot of uh, uh, chat, a lot of questions as well as Q&A. Um, I, I can see that the main common one is uh, this is a uh, Terry. What you showed is a B two C platform. Uh, can you share examples of B two B? Just a lot of uh, questions. I think seven or eight questions on on that B two B. Could you please? Oh, I, I find it very interesting and webinar is obviously you guys are listening very well and you have a way to make me better in my next webinar. Not here. <laughs> Why that? I will say that. Obviously, IMDA C the car as the B two C pollution provider, they have two, and then they have some for the B2B one. But I've also seen that in the B2B, huh, don't have WeChat and don't have China hashtag. Leh. So how? So I'm going to be very proud to say that we are not only B2C, but we are B2B. Yes, the example I show you are all B2C, because you know, stay true to our positioning. But think about it, what is C and what is B? There's no demarcation these days, at least not in China. When Ma Yun say, and it started off with Alibaba doing it for B, and then up, he does a lot better with C. There's no real demarcation, guys. If you think that you are a B, then you come and talk to me. I will show you that you are also a C, which means you first you can benefit from it, whether you're B or C. And, and secondly, the business model of SG Pavilion doesn't bother whether you're B or you are C. I, I confuse you a little bit more. By Pintoto, you heard of Pintoto, which got listed big time no? in, in China, uh, not in China, in US. Pintoto is B or is C, I ask you. Is both. Why? Because on one side, they group together the farmers, the big agriculture place. And on the other side, they connect with the C. So they are both B and they are C because they can play with it. So I just want you to understand when we talk about omni channel, when we talk about platform level, this thing don't really matter. But I'm not being specific. So I just want to give assurance that those of you who think that you are B, 
come to talk to us in our group, I will show you that actually no diff. Yeah, that is the magic of it. B to B to C to B to no difference. Now even C to manufacturer, C to M even. How? No, I, I think the world has become very berserk. But what is staying there all the time is how government can help. And do you have any of this in China? China is like this. You are going to fight. The last two, I keep. Hall of China dynasty is like this. Even if you have the prince, huh, your view will become the next emperor. <laughs> but I think in here, Singapore, no. All of us must get through together. The same way the government is doing the COVID is no one is left behind. It's the same principle we are holding with SME. If only you are willing to help yourself as well. Okay, thanks. Okay. Terry, I think you're breaking up a little bit, but I think we can make, make it up most of it. Um, okay, other questions will be like, the, okay, the presentation slides from uh, IMDA and um, the Terry, you'll be shared to all of you all. Um, Michelle, my, my colleague, uh, she will share with you all after the, the session today. Okay. Can, can you all hear me? Okay, video. Somebody asking, uh, Terry, you'll share the video as well. Okay, great. Uh, another question is, um, they, they, one of the questions is, uh, food, uh, there's a lot of uh, import restrictions into China, uh, fresh seafood and all that stuff. Terry, can you answer that? Okay, uh, let me understand that one a bit more. Huh? Obviously, I'm not a food person. So when I listen to this thing, I need to listen carefully and I might pass the mic to Phyllis, who obviously is a food person because she likes to eat, <laughs> she knows her food and she has worked with the Food Manufacturing Association for a long time. Okay, just now you're asking me about the logistics, is it? Food from Singapore no, to China or China to Singapore? Say again, restriction. Uh, restriction, okay. I understand oh. China don't easy for import for mm. food. Okay. okay. Terry Hill from PS Food and Beverage, could you... Okay, uh, okay. Can maybe... I... I can try to answer that a bit, but in fact, I'm going to translate that for Phyllis just in case she didn't get all the English. She's more conversant in Mandarin. Phyllis is like this. There is a question about the export 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 export好，因为啊，我从那个这里的聊天室啊，有看到那个一些提问是关于B2B。刚才也是提到关于生鲜的一个logistics。那我先来啊解释一下关于那个B2B的问题。那么因为我们从其实呃，我们公司成立了七年
夫妇他们都有去到那个现场，那么呃，他们直接说，哎，我要那个做中国的总代理，你们的产品牌很好，产品也很好，我要做中国总代理可以吗？那么老板他非常的头痛，因为呢，每天都有很多人这样问，他又说怎么办？怎么办？我用了你们的软件，有那么多人找我做总代理怎么办？然后我们给他的解决方案是，中国是非常大的，那个每一个城市可以给一个代理，那这样他也很开心。那么。开拓了他的一个呃中国的一个路，在基本上没有什么成本的基础上，没有去租金啊、人工啊，花到那个呃很大的一个成本，但是他呃至少他就去到了中国市场。那么、呃、最后呢，我是要讲说一个刚才因为我收到一个呃。那个问题，他是说他是一间秘书公司，我相信那个烟也看到了，后台有提问，他是说他是一间秘书公司，他呢就是有那个呃，怎么能够 reach 到中国市场？那么我们有实际的案例，你看现在是疫情，基本上呃，中国的老板想来新加坡开公司，飞也飞不过来，怎么办呢？那么新加坡的那我们的顾客呢，新加坡的呃秘书公司他就呃提供这些服务。那么就让我们的那个呃中国的公司提供相关的材料，那个新加坡秘书公司就直接可以帮他做那个呃。变成那个新加坡公司嘛，因为那个呃，只是文件齐全就可以了。那也有一位那个律师，律师的那个公司，他也提出一个问题：我新加坡律师公司，他们都是 B 嘛，那么怎么能够呃跟中国的那个呃啊我的业务发展到中国市场？那么他可以 B to C， 也可以 B to B。那么呃那些中国公司想要呃去来到新加坡市场，那个呃用那个他的法律服务，或者是全球。的法律服务，因为新加坡是双语嘛，所以那个律师他是非常熟，呃，新中两地的语言，他又可以做到那个中国企业家要的那些律师文件。那这个呢，全部都是 B to B， 然后呢，也是呃，在 logistic 方 logistics 方面呢，也没有一个很大的问题。秘书公司啊和律师喽，这些是服务行业。那我们讲到制造业，那么制造业我们讲呃最最呃。比较辛苦的就是食品业，我们在十差不多十年前就开始在这方面有那个呃接触，我们也有把那个中国的海关啊，那个呃检验检疫的官呃官方也的也介绍跟新加坡的政府也有一个一个呃非常好的一个配合。那么我们本身呢是呃有那个呃。那个呃，配合的物流公司，包括检验检疫，这个是第一种方法，就是通过那个物流公司。我们我们刚说到生鲜嘛，生鲜它有生鲜的流程，那个食品有食品的流程，保健业也有保健业的流程，那个护肤品也有护修，那个我们都是 case by case， 根据它的那个呃不同的入关的一些条件，因为比如说食品，它在它即使是有了相关的证，到了那个出货的那个两个礼拜。前还是要有抽抽检的过程，所以这些都是呃。根根据它的那个产品的那个呃里面的成分，也有不同的一些呃要求，所以这些我们都是可以在线下 case by case 我们来呃就是呃解决。那么呃，总之呢，就是我们刚才同事有讲了那个全球购，就是用裂变分销，我们讲的是病毒式的裂变，因为一个人他可以让五百多万人的。五百多万人都有那个呃疫情，说明呢这个裂变是非常具有一个效果的，所以我们说裂变式分销。那我们呃中国非常呃好的那个直播呃卖货，大家应该也都非常了解了。这些我们都是呃业务涉及的范围。那么呃包括那个朋友圈的广告，包括那个代运营这些，其实、呃、政府非常好。呃，都给了我们呃相关行业那个最高。刚才 Terry 很保守，他讲的是最低，比如说七十，那最高就是九十甚至九十八的津贴。那么呃，这些都是。呃，包括昨天王瑞杰他有呃副总副总理啊，他有提到关于那个呃 SME Go Digital， 他是他们又政府给了更多的津贴。那么其实，在六月四号，就是来临的六月四号，那个 IMDA 他们呃几个政府部门都会出非常呃好的一些细节。那我们呃可能拭目以待，其实就是这一些，他们可能是直接可以给到那个呃相关的现金，但是呢这一方面呢就。
都是跟我们那个软件啊，或者 e-commerce e-payment， 因为我们既是 e-commerce 又是 e-payment， 又是 B to B， 这些都是有符合条件。所以，如果你们是我们的顾客的话，嗯，不仅我们是会用心服务好，更重要的是我们的那个。成本，我们呃顾客的成本都可以降到最低。那个来临的六月六月四号，我们政府就会公布。我现在也也也不难讲。那么，但是呢，有一点是可以肯定的，就是如果今天听了我们那个同事，我们大家的一个分享，那么就呃扫我们背后的那个二维码，进了群以后就联系得到我们。那我们也会发视频和 PPT。那么最后呢，我这里要感谢我们的伊恩、米歇尔、呃、罗罗瑞，然后还有那个谢谢那个 Terry， 谢谢大家那么久在在那个 Zoom 前听，那么线下我们就啊、呃、保持联系，好，谢谢，谢谢 ，Thank you, Thank you, Valise， 呃、uh, ，Terry maybe you want to do a short summary in English of what you just said because I think。Some of the、yeah. things that she mentioned is very important. Yes, yes, it is. It is very important. Okay, thanks very much. I, I, I'm very pleased today. We have English-speaking、uh, participants. In the past, people think that the Doka is only doing from China,、uh, only for Chinese. Actually, no. And I find there are a lot of questions that actually is asking from a Singapore SME point of view, including those who are more English-oriented, or we say、uh, Channel Five. Ah,、huh? um, I think there are no channel specific.、Um, if you take me as an example, I am very. Very happy to speak both English and Chinese. I think that reflects about you somewhat also. I summarize just now what Phyllis has mentioned. She gave an example of an、uh, importer or exporter, if you like, from China to Singapore. The other way around, it would be the same. Why? Because we are going to be using the same logistic partner. I I pose you a riddle, right? Who might it be? They can do both sides. Think about it. Specialize both sides, oh, ah,、uh, and then they can do case by case, and they can inform you. From time to time, even by the day or by the week, who can do that? You see, it won't be Doroka. It won't be any singular、uh, company or even government. It has to be the logistic specialists in this. We work with them. How do we work with them through Doroka in Shanghai? So we create this alliance of Singapore side and Shanghai side. Then we can start. So there are two parts that can put together. So when IMDA posts us the questions, are you sure you can do it? We are different in that we don't work from Singapore. We are also different, also that we don't work just from China. So you wouldn't put us to the very good, ah.、Huh? Those questions are more specific. We continue in the group, ah, because today what we can do best is give you the concept and the possibility, and you really need to explore it. There's some question I find very interesting about why Terry say two two four, then later six thousand, because they're two different things. There are two things I can sell to you, my Goyo. One is you spend as low as two two four to get your foundation done. The infrastructure, which involves your OA, your store, collecting money and play games, then the other one, you spend at most six thousand dollars to get something else, and that is the proliferation. Let's call it affiliate program. The scary word about 分裂裂变等等哈啊 is proliferation using affiliate program. So two things you can do both at the same. I will suggest you do both because none of my users in the past can do both because the second one. Which is also very potent.、Uh. In fact, even more potent. It's only born last month. So do both at the same time. There's no conflict. It's the same IMDA eyeing over everything. Okay, I hope I have answered all these questions. Ian, thanks for indulging in us. It's like overshot the time. It's okay. So、uh, I think one of the questions,、uh, some of the questions, is、uh, what type of grant is this? I believe it's an ESG grant. Most likely, it's a productivity solutions grant, PSG.、Uh, but、uh, IMDA is the administrator for this because the PSG is an umbrella、uh, grant system. Uh, but they don't,、uh, they they don't dole it out.、Uh, they they give it out IMDA to dole it out, and、uh, it's not not even given to to Dodo Car.、Uh, Dodo Car will help you to apply. You got to apply. They will tell you how to fill in the forms and all that stuff. So you SME, you have to apply, and you you benefit from the grant. And、um, I think as Felice also mentioned, if my Chinese Mandarin is good,、uh, I know uh, Nor Muhammad Nor. You also don't understand Mandarin like me. Uh, uh, Nor Nor Azami. Uh, okay. Um. Yesterday's uh, uh, DPM Heng also did mention the increase in uh, uh, this this grant system. So what uh, uh, Terry mentioned, seventy percent is actually very conservative.、Um, if it's the right grant system, I believe it's gone to eighty percent or maybe even ninety percent. But、um, no promises. But、um, this this grant is actually to help SMEs to to go digital. Because you see, even like we all in SMF, we can't even help you. We can't even leave the country. So how to go digital? How how to go overseas? The only way is digital. Okay. So any any other more questions?、Uh...
okay, uh, specific industries besides food, right? Yes, um, you're not the first one to ask. Terry also asked me why, why we chose uh, mm. food industry, okay? Uh, <laughs> SMF, we, we, SMF we, we chose for this first talk. But we are, we are working with uh, Terry's uh, Dodo car also for other industry specifics. And we will welcome you all to, to, to tell us uh, what industry that, that you all think you want to do. Med, med tech, uh, uh, I don't know what other industry that you think, uh, metals and machineries, eh, you know, uh, consumer electronics. Tell us, give us the feedback, then we can we know how to position um, and, and get Terry to, to do another focus uh, session even. Okay. Um, again, I think there's still a lot of questions on, on uh, slides, the presentation. Yes, we'll email to you. Okay. And any other questions that I missed out? Terry, anything else? <laughs> you answer most okay. of it actually. Um, yeah, I think so. There are some questions about the slides, no problem. Uh, I see yeah. some people leaving their email address. I must confess, I, uh, I am a dinosaur when it comes to email because I don't use email anymore. Unless kind of forced to. Like IMDA for official purpose, need to talk to me via email, then I would. So I'm very slow on email. Not that it's not important, but I just try to stick close to my new life for the last three years, which is just from the phone and just on WeChat, you can do a lot of wonders already. In fact, all the information I shared today, I shared with Michelle of SMF via WeChat. You see the video like very big, huh? can do via WeChat. So I'm not worried if I forget because then you can bug Ian. Nah. Then Ian can look for, hey, Michelle, have or not? Have. I send via WeChat very really fast than email. But I'm not trying to change your overnight. Huh? I'm just sharing with you my lifestyle. I'm very fast on WeChat. I'm already talking to people in my group already. But I'm very slow on email. So I see those emails there. If you have to go by that way, I'm sure can be follow up. But I'll be very slow. Uh, but I think my colleagues in SMF, you are very fast on it. I'm just putting the point that we don't want to miss anybody out. There's no discrimination. If you use email, it's okay. One. The government purely on email still. Yeah. Really? Email good. Got, got advantage. Please, go ahead. Yeah. One yes. more. How long does it take to come on board? Oh, very good question. Eh? These are the 实力派, action pie one. Eh? Okay, it's like this. Eh? I am risky to say this, but you can hold my word to it. Why? Because I get to see the whole thing through. You need one month. Eh? Actually, assuming tonight you write the fill in the form, you press me, hey, you don't care, keep the form. Tomorrow morning, you give me all the forms. Tomorrow, I submit for you. Or tomorrow, you submit on your own. Actually, there's one part you need to submit on your own. There's one part you submit on your own. By, for, by me one, okay? Okay, tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow, day one. Eh? Then you need one month for approval. It's possible to be shorter, so I can sue one month. Then after that, the installation need two to three months. Why? Why two? Why three? Which one is which one? Depend on your information a lot. I have one user just now come in when they do education. Wow, they have a lot of information. So they can actually go very fast if they want to. Because the boss can disappear, do other things, and we got enough information. In case you're still trying to form your brand package, your tagline, and so on, you take a lot, uh, a lot more time, I understand. Two to three months. So one plus three is four months. For DIMS, you want to get your money back from the, uh, from the government. It works out to be 7360, okay? So I don't elaborate how the, money, how the figure come about, but you know you'll get back your money. That might take three months from my experience. Or in six to seven months for all things to come back to you. Your money, if it is on a reimbursement, DIMS is. Um, and for going live, and touchdown running all go live and nicely already. So conservative, let's say six months. Uh, very kill up, very fierce one, three months. And I'll be watching over. So if you are the very garang one, you just bug me every day. Uh, um, or let me bug you, it can be faster. The government side, we need to give them time to process. So I think one month is fair. Although the record uh, is six days. Uh, the record got six days. But we cannot hold the government to it. So some of them, the officers don't sleep, so they work very fast. Then some of them need to look after because it's work from home. So we have to tell. Yeah. Because for this grant, uh, if you submit to uh, IMDA, uh, the approving authority is still uh, ESG. So mm. you've got to give some time. Uh, yeah. But because this grant is a, there's a limit to this grant, so uh, it's a small grant, so processing time should be faster. Uh, that's yeah. what the government has said for a uh, turnaround yes. to approve grant. So don't worry yes. about that. Mm. I'm from, formerly from the government, so I should know. Yeah. Ah, okay, good. I'm from ESG, yeah, so don't worry. Yeah. ESG, okay. Yeah. So you have helped us demystify. ESG is as lovely and warm like you, then it's good. Because I thought it'd be very <laughs> high up there. So okay, so any more burning questions? Uh, there, there's some, uh, okay, push, push, okay. Is this only covering China? Actually, if you, Terry, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I also asked the same question. Is it only mm. China? Actually, he said, start from home base. Home base is Singapore. 
mm. WeChat, there's a, I also ask this question, WeChat, there's 1 million users in Singapore. So if you are selling, you want to sell to Singapore first, you can use this uh, Dodoka's uh, uh, DIMS to, to start mm. selling in Singapore, okay, mm. and, and distribute in Singapore, right? Yeah. So there was one question that came up. Yeah. Good, good question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I may add to it. People ask yes. whether it's only confined to Singapore. You can. You can confine to Singapore. Singapore is a very good market because we have tourists will come back one. Even if we don't, domestic consumption is quite strong. You can do that. But is it only China? No, it is for China. You see, it's for China because it has a undisputed advantage. Can it be for India and Africa? I will, I will venture my guess. It has to be. Why am I so sure? Because that is the voice from China. Practically, all the people is slightly more knowledgeable and informed in China. They know that China has to be the future, but the future, listen up, it will be in India and Africa. Not very hard, right? Why? Because everything is a population play. Population play. China population will Africa. not grow. Uh, will really? not grow. The singularly biggest population grow will be India and Africa. But who is plowing in those things? Is it Singapore? I'm not sure. But it's definitely in China because China is very high profile in doing I, I, things, uh, yeah, doing things in these two places. So the Indians will use WeChat. It's not very hard for them, and therefore it's not going to be very hard for us. It's good for us because it's all, not all pure China centric. It's via China learning WeChat so that we can have more exposure for Singapore. So the world stage is still very big for us before or after yes. COVID, before or after WeChat. Okay. Yes. So the essential of the question is: Is it for WeChat users? Is it right? Yes, yeah. WeChat users are I, everywhere, uh, even in Africa. Everywhere, yes, yes. Singapore. I want to add uh, that uh, WeChat is very young, uh, younger than most of us. Okay, who is younger than WeChat? Tell me. Uh. WeChat is born in two zero one one, by the inventor of Fox Mail, Zhang Xiaolong, not Li Xiaolong, but Zhang Xiaolong. He's very famous in China. I think he's very famous worldwide. So he invented this. He's very young, but why he can do so well? Because right place, right time, right people. Uh. Will WeChat be here forever? Actually, the owner boss Tony Ma Ma Huateng doesn't care. Why? Because he used WeChat to kill QQ. QQ is still popular but never near WeChat as a social media and for marketing. He will use something to kill WeChat. Why? Because he's a businessman. And don't be sad for WeChat because WeChat will reincarnate as even more powerful. Then why are we learning WeChat now? Because we want to get into this flow of knowing how to make use of things for our best. Singapore is very good at that. Our government, of course, heads off to them, can do it. So we learn WeChat and use WeChat not because we worship it, there's no need to, but because we want to digitalize. Not the keyword is digitalize so that we're empowered. Then we know what to do next. If we never learn WeChat, it's just like we never use WhatsApp. Can you imagine that? We never use Facebook. Can you imagine that? And then we'll be lagging behind a lot. So use WeChat so that we can stay ahead. I think we can know, we can even do better than that. We will spearhead even a lot more. So that's my position with WeChat. I'm not a worshipper. I'm, I want to be an active user. Short question. What is DIMS? Okay, he, DIMS. He, he uh, just attended half the session. Yes, no problem. Uh, DIMS, the P, uh, stands for productivity. So DIMS is to increase productivity. Uh, what does that mean? All the info I want to share with you, I can share with you from my official account. So you don't have to come to my Zoom. But I think come to Zoom a lot more entertaining. Uh. Then you can get the information from my official account. Then I can show you the things you can pay me for. I can collect the money. So DIMS does all of that. And if you're bored, you can play some games on my official account, which is equals to website. So DIMS does all of that for you. In an efficient manner, hence productivity up. Yes. And my time is up there. I now over time, I don't mind, but I want to make sure SMF, you don't have other things like clashing with your next one. So yeah. tell me. I think mm. just, just one more last, last question, which I'll take is uh, mm. top three factors to execute a successful WeChat marketing program. Mm. Well, very good question. I am not prepared Even. for it because I just have, yeah, but I like this question because this is the things that we talk about when we go for immersion program in Shanghai. Every time the answer different. This is a very scary question. The answer is even more scary. Because if you ask 10 people, there will be 11 answers. You ask the same person every time with different answer. Jala. So this one, you can take notes, but please don't hold me to it. You, talk, you say the top three factors, I will speak in terms of in Singapore. Singapore, like it or not, nah, we don't like, okay, I say only, nah, it's me. We don't like to do things without the government above us. Read me, ah, we don't like. It's not we don't like the above us, eh. Is we don't like if they're not above us. SME, you think about it. If I today tell you, I'm the doctor, I got a solution for you, you think you will heal me, man? You won't. You say, there are so many, why should I work with you? Now I tell you, because the government work with us as the B2C innovation vendor, well, talk until as if for real. It's a real one. I'm not very 
how lean about it. I'm just want to identify that the first factor is you work with government. So for WeChat roll out very well in Singapore, you can go private, look for consultants. I think some are quite good, but you might as well work with government because the government will be your supervisor. So in Singapore, just as in everything else, you want to do WeChat very well, align with the government policy, grow digital. And before that, go digital. Go and grow sounds the same. Actually, it's two steps. You can do as one shot with us today. So one is the one. The other one is what we do, partner. I, I very ashamed to say that Toroka is the best. Yeah, I, I think Toroka is good enough. I think now we have to understand that who is good enough for me to go the next step. Don't go for the best because they don't exist. Any of you think your spouse is the best? I think it's good enough for me to spend the rest of my life. Isn't it good enough? Ah, so it's the same meaning here. Okay, I'm just drawing a metaphor. I don't be angry with me. Um, just we need to have good enough to go the next step because it's never about WeChat. It's always about our business. Okay, the third one, I think is the Ren Cai. This one, very sorry, uh, Singapore very scarce. Don't go China and find. Expensive and don't understand Singapore. That's why I go, Sing I go Shanghai and use. I don't bring the Ren Cai to Singapore because they spend half their time trying to sui to pufu, uh, they want to adapt to Singapore. So my sense is, no answer to it uh, is the talent pool. Very, very short. I'm not even a talent. I, I, I talk only. Then when you come and do, uh, my efficiency will half. Then when it comes to follow up, my vision will have some more. I, I know myself. Yeah, so that's why I do this what I'm doing now. But you want to have people, the pool or talent pool, really very there one? No, I must confess to you. That's why even if you look for other sources, you're not better off. Therefore, we have to build it. Talent pool for executing WeChat strategy. Okay, that's my own view only. It doesn't represent the Doka. Okay. okay, thanks, Terry. Um, another one was uh, non-Mandarin speaking and don't want to read Mandarin uh, like me. Um, how to use WeChat, uh, is there any assistance? And then uh, linking to that is how to venture into Indonesia with WeChat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, i answer the last one first. Uh, venture to Indonesia, don't need WeChat. Because uh, WeChat in Indonesia have, but not singularly the, the most important. So actually you can use whatever you're, you're there yet first. You see, WeChat is not the Chengba Wu Ling Tian Xia. Huh? If it's for Indonesia, you work with Indonesian Chinese, then I feel okay. Uh, what with the government or others, I'm not sure. I don't think it needs to be WeChat per se. So if you use, okay, use with those who already know. No need to educate them, no point. Uh, that's my own point. Uh, the other one is for English, just like me. If I don't speak Mandarin at all today, don't you find my English is good enough? And how come I can use WeChat? Because I can use my English mind and English proficiency, it can be done. WeChat is not an English world. WeChat is a business world. Writing on social media. The Chinese people, they can don't read English, but it's a sizable number of them enough for any of our mega conglomerate in Singapore to serve. This group use English. You serve them, is good enough. Yeah. But of course, if you think you want to cover all bases, then you need your talent. In short, even if you don't know English, you can operate. It can be done. Okay. Um, one company is, or maybe most of the companies, SMEs are revamping their website. Uh, would it be advisable to, 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 to link it and align it with uh, their, their website with e-commerce platform like WeChat? Mm, yes, I will call it parallel shift. So also no need to go and do two types of work. Lah. You can parallel shift from website to WeChat and WeChat to website because the thinking is the same. If today I'm your consultant, I will interview you and come up with one set of information that is useful for omni-channel with minor modification. You can do it in English first, then later translate into it. Chinese. When the translation comes, it will be transcreation, not translation per se. Yeah. Um, so all these are details, but my point is, now it's good. After all, you're going to do something about what, what, uh, your web website anyway. So why don't you prepare it to a parallel shift? One for more, rather than one for one. Yes. So it's a good time to do all of it. Okay. I think that, that's it. Um, uh, there's one more question, but it's from an anonymous person, uh, mm. which I already mentioned. Uh, yeah, mm. we, we, we can do WeChat for specific industries, not necessarily food. Um, so I've answered that already. But uh, I, I don't think, I think we have run out of time, but uh, if there's mm. any other question, uh, mm. please, you can always email to, to, to me, Michelle, uh, the one yeah. uh, or to SMF where you got your, this uh, EDM broadcast where you sign up to. Yeah. Okay, and we'll try to answer all your questions. And um, mm. you, if we need to also, we can link you up to Terry as well. Or you, yes. if really, uh, uh, you already took the QR code, okay, so please connect with Terry as well also. So any other things? If not, um, we'd like to thank everyone. Vivian has left. Uh, thank you, Vivian. And of course, Terry has <laughs> left. So uh, nice working yes. you. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll try and see if we can explore working with you again for other platforms. Uh, sure, happy to. Yeah? Yes. Okay, thank everyone. Have a good day. Mm. Have a good week. Mm. 
Okay, and uh, enjoy the Fortitude uh, uh, budget. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thanks again, Ian, Thank uh, Michelle, and the whole team. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Logging off. Thank now. you. Just, I'll see you later. Bye.